chaps, welcome to another Shave of the Day and today is going to be a regular Shave of the Day with a bit of a final review of this stuff, Pinot Clubman. So, it's Bank Holiday Monday. Out there, as you can probably tell by the abundance of whiteness that's going on behind me, the sun's out. Um, Bank Holiday Monday, sun out, apocalypse anyone? Anyway, we're on to a shave. It's been a busy week. It's been a nice weekend as well. Um, not an awful lot to report on. Disappointed at the uh, boxing. David Hay, obviously being a fellow Londoner, uh, always root for the homeboy. Um, but credit to Tony Bellew. He took the win against an agent, David Hay, who quite clearly isn't what he used to be, um, the old David Hay would have blitzed Bellew out of there a long time ago. Anyway, that is what it is. Uh, Joe Joyce, Commonwealth Champion, always nice to see. Um, so yeah, good one. Anyway, onto the shave. We're going to do regular shave. We're going to be using the Wickham's Face Soap for the pre-shave. We're going to be using Prohibition Style Sidecar as the soap with the Razor Rock Monster brush and the Mercury Future Razor with an Astra Blade. And then of course we're going to follow up with the uh, the Pinot Clubman. Now, of late this current puck of Astra Blades is a superior stainless. I've had one or two dud ones and I'm hoping this one isn't the same. Hoping. Because they've, they've left me quite raw and one or two of them have had one edge that's absolutely spot on and the other one may as well have been bashed against the curbstone it felt that rough so we'll see we'll see not, not making any excuses but we'll see so wet the old face get the soap now you can see i've got a few days growth going on because left my face to uh, recover over the weekend after the last dodgy blade from Astra. I suppose it's, it's bound to happen. Law of averages in a hundred puck or hundred pack of blades, there's going to be at least one puck that's a bit iffy. So we've got plenty of leather. Now we'll go for the Prohibition style soap today because I haven't used it in a while. And with what's Bank Holiday Monday, got an awesome pre shave to go with. Glycerin base, and I believe these are glycerin based soaps as well. I believe. Um, given how pernickety they are to lather. And I say that, and it sounds like a negative, and I suppose in a way it is. Um, even Justin admitted they can be a bit of a pig to lather, but when you get them lathering well, you get an absolutely fantastic shave off them. And I found the key to lathering these soaps from Prohibition Style, the uh, five butter jobbies, is to bloom them. And I know it's a dirty word for some of you, but it is what it is. Softens the surface of the soap and allows your brush to take up a bit more. And at the end of the day, that is what I think might have been the issue for some. So we're going to go in with a dry brush. Key point. And it has been blooming, so there's an element of water in there. Can't really tell too much. I've done most of that out. And I say most because I want a little bit to help build the lather. And yet, yeah, in true Prohibition style style, it takes a bit of work to get the lather. Now this is the sidecar scent. And do you remember watching my initial videos? Showing these soaps, the scents are very mild, so they're totally inoffensive, but there's just a hint there 
of what's going on. I personally would like a bit more scent. Um, and they are named after cocktails. The other one I've got uh, was Whiskey Sour, I believe. You can see, it's starting to get enough lather in there. And once we've got a brush full, we're going to have at it on the face. I would say that's a successful lathering. So it's a little finickety to lather. It's more effort than many, but rewarding nonetheless. That's the one thing I can say, safely say about these soaps is that when they're lathered, they perform. And for those of you who find, say, Mitchell's a bit of a, a bit of a funny one to lather, or Williams mug soap. This is no harder than either of those. But in my opinion, better. Yes, better. So we've had a little moisture. Because and uh, inserting you into a challenge here, we went in dry. So we need to add quite a bit of moisture. And so with three days growth, I shaved Friday morning, obviously didn't shave Saturday or Sunday, so we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday growth going on. We am going to start the future on a four. Brush is uh, getting all excited. Spewing its lather everywhere. So, we are ready. Anyway, what else have I got to tell you about? Oh yes, so since my last video, I've uh, ordered myself a new guitar, and it arrives tomorrow, hopefully, uh, it's an Ibanez S1070 PBZ, and it's stunning, I'll see if I can insert a picture in here, yeah, what do you think? So. Future on a four. Gliding for Erring on the side of caution, keeping it really light touch. And so far, so good. The lather is slick and protective. The blade feels okay. It's 
Oh, we all up to the bank holiday. I know some of you are working and uh, I've got the kids at home today but in a short while we're going to go to the park uh, I promised myself I'm going to go up to the park we're gonna, I'm taking to the one where I had our wedding photos taken you know, because I've got a nice little pond lake or the play area uh, and then you've got the nice kind of rolling fieldy greeny bits. Um, that's always quite nice. He doesn't know I'm taking him there yet. He thinks he's going to the little one up the road. And then we're going to go to uh, go to the shops and buy some bits. I'm going to make some homemade burgers for tea. Not just any burgers. I'm going to do some uh, chorizo burgers. I think, yes. I'm going to do some chorizo burgers. So I'm going to put finely chopped chorizo in there, ramp it up with some smoked paprika to uh, really give it some oomph. Um, and then, of course, serve it with fried onions, cheese, bacon in a lovely bun uh, with a bit of salad. Yeah. So. Props to anyone else who's going to be doing something nice cooking today. So we're going to switch the future down to a two for the remaining passes. There's something really refreshing about taking off multiple days worth of growth in one hit. That Wickham pre-shave soap, well it's not strictly a pre-shave, it's a face soap, but using it as a pre-shave, it is fantastic. I've had a few days this week where I've gone for three or four days on the trot, using hot towel. Just to... Realise what I've done here. So I'm going to cross the ground I've gone against. Oh, well, we'll leave it two passes then. But yeah. So the Wickham said makes a massive difference. It really does, it leaves your skin. And the shave, absolutely fantastic. So the top half of the face we're really going against. So we'll just do it against under here. Just to just even it up a bit. Yeah, so the soap has performed really well today. If you've not tried Prohibition Style before, it's a Canadian company. I know Justin's a sound guy. Oh, I nicked myself. Give the soap a look. Very much a great soap. There was just me being careless with the razor, just getting a little bit uh, trigger happy towards the end. Behaving itself ish. So, no need for the alum. What we're going to do, we're going to have a Macaulay Culkin moment, albeit not with Old Spice. I'm going to get out the old Clubman. And this is the, the product in question Pinot Clubman Aftershave Lotion in the classic. Scent. Not the vanilla, not the other ones that they do. Yeah. Maybe we will get the alum out on that quickly. So, alum, alum, alum. Reminds me of that video of the, um, what was that, the groundhog. 
I was just standing there and I was playing for funny faces and going, Alan, Alan, Alan. Alan. Anyway, I digress. Well, what do you have to believe it is bloody gone and done one. Hmm, disappointing. Anyway, it's not in the bowl. Me. So maybe it's going to be an un unpleasant, an unpleasant bit. Anyway, let's rinse the face and then go straight to the aftershave. Face is lovely and smooth, really is. There we go. So, club them. So, like I say, it's been the first smell out of the bowl when I first opened it, it was like, hmm, something going on with the scent that I'm not sure. It smells a bit chemically, a bit vulcanised. And then I used it day after day since inception. Been one or two days where I haven't, but uh, but yeah, the smell has improved. The wife likes it. Nick is still there, so this is going to sting. She says it smells like talc, and I don't disagree. So what we're going to do? Take a generous splash today, and we're going to slap it on. And there is a bit of a sting because it's alcohol. But there's that classic clean. Barbershop smell. And I like it. I do. I thought after that first whiff I was going to be, hmm, this one's going to sit on the shelf and not get used. But I have used it for most days since I started trying it. And it's nice and clean. And it, it lasts. Bizarrely, it lasts. I wouldn't expect an aftershave lotion to have the longevity that this does. I can still detect it towards the end of the day from applying it at 5 o'clock in the morning. The wife can still detect it in the evening when she gets up close. Yeah, very pleasant. Very pleasant indeed. So, I'm going to go and uh, sort this out. Teach me to be careless, won't it? And then I'm going to go and have some breakfast and take my son to the park. So, ladies and gents and aliens of other species and intelligent orangutans and anyone else who's watching. I've been Nick. This has been a lovely shave, apart from that nick. Not this nick, that nick. Yeah, that, that, that little red one right there, not this one. I'll see you again soon. Have a fantastic bank holiday Monday all, and I'll see you again soon.